meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Good morning and happy Friday. It's about 6.15 if you are just waking up with us this morning. And you're going to want that jacket uh, not only this morning, but really throughout the next several days. And not a light jacket either. I'm thinking like winter jacket time as it's 28 degrees here in the Twin Ports. A west-southwest wind at about 7 miles per hour. And I mentioned earlier the wind chill is actually has us still in the upper teens and even low 20s across the board this morning. And that's thanks to, of course, some of those wind speeds. And the clear skies really aren't helping that either. So the winds across the board aren't just super breezy at the moment. Looking at winds about 5 to 10 miles out of the west southwest currently. They're going to continue to shift out of the west ahead of our next low pressure system that's going to be moving in later this evening. So before we get there, we're going to see a quieter day today. We will see some sunshine as well, but that sun really won't warm things up too, too much as temperatures are going to sit right around 40 all afternoon. We had a few flurries uh, going through the uh, region yesterday afternoon, as well as into northern Wisconsin overnight, and that's another round that can be expected again today. You'll see that off to the southwest of Brainerd, already seeing more snow kind of populate on the radar because the atmosphere is so cold. There's energy there to kind of produce not the rain but of course the snow because temperatures are allowing for that snow in terms of that so do expect that through the next several hours areas like central wisconsin where those cloud kind of the clouds move in that's going to help support the chances for some flurry activities so don't be surprised if you see some throughout the region this afternoon saturday morning three o'clock you can still see on the dry side for the entire region clouds still off to our south and west the system still working to kind of develop itself a little bit more organized as it works its way through this day saturday afternoon noontime You'll notice the snow mainly sticking to just northern and northeastern Minnesota, as in just snow. But if you look closely, closer to the, uh, the lake shore here, so if you are along Lake Superior, you can see those pinks mixing in with the green. That's a rain-snow mix because of Lake Superior being so much warmer than further inland. That is going to help kind of take away the amount of snowfall rather than areas up to the north that will see a higher accumulation rate. By 7 o'clock, though, for the most part, we will be in the clear, cl cloudy skies, of course, to end the night with some lingering lake effect snow, even possible, along the arrowhead Saturday night into your Sunday morning. So here's some to snow totals. I showed them yesterday, and I've updated them slightly today. I kind of just expanded the 2 to 4 inches to kind of take over the entire international border, as well as up into Grand Marais. Locally, higher amounts could be possible with some lake effect. But for the Twin Ports area, if you're right along the shoreline, don't expect more than an inch or so of snow fall as we're going to see mainly rain take over by Saturday afternoon and then everywhere south expect really only a trace to an inch because again warmer temperatures are going to kind of melt that snow on surface as it comes down tomorrow morning. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow today 40 degrees up on the hill and then tonight another very cold night 28 degrees increasing clouds yet again out of that next low pressure system and then snow and then even a rain snow mix moves in tomorrow. So as you wake up tomorrow morning and you see snow on the ground, feel free to take pictures. Send them our way to cbs3duluth.com. Uh, tag us on Facebook with your pictures. It would be a great thing to show on the, the evening news come tomorrow. It would be nice to see the folks up to the north, how much snow will they get versus kind of what we see here in the Twin Ports. Absolutely. That's a very good idea. It'll yes. definitely be interesting to see yes. that, especially for the first, first snow, snow event I of guess, the season. The, yeah, We can say the first snow of the so season. So Ironwood yesterday. got some lake effect <laughs> several times. But, yeah, uh, for the we whole got region, our flurries here. Yeah, but we got flurries. But for a whole region-wise, this is our first very event. Very exciting, so. I think. Think. I don't know if that's the right word. For those who to love use. snow and love winter, well, you're in luck. Yeah, you are in luck. That's true. It's yes. the uh, it's the first taste. It's the season. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. Yeah.